What's going on everyone? Fenris here. Welcome back to the vlog. As you can see, once again, we're in the work vlog. So yeah, let's get it. Uh, today, oh yeah, we loaded up. <laughs> Look at that. Just like that one video I showed you all during summer, but now we're going into peak season. It's actually nice outside today, thankfully, to November. But uh, yeah, they, we, we got to pick up, man. We got to put these on. Come on, FedEx, stop giving me more shit. <laughs> No, I'm just getting more monies. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take it. Yeah, why not? I just stopped by the animal shelter for uh, a drop off, too. <laughs> you got to see the cats and dogs and stuff, you know. You run into a lot of animals on these routes, too. It's like, you know, it's kind of funny seeing that FedEx likes to screw you over a little bit there. Yeah, and that's what we do guys, you know, we pick it up and then we put this cart, take it over here, put it back in there. We're gonna, we're gonna say where we are for obviously so I'll get fired to my job. But we're on to our next stop. Just about seven minutes away. So as you guys can see, my route is very rural and this will not favor me during the winter. But I'm kind of used to the winter, to be honest with y'all. So yeah, let's get on the road, baby. And you know, I might not record next to this next stop because I got a busy day, but uh, it's probably about halfway through the day and you know, I'll show y'all how it's going. So yeah, or I might not record again, who knows. Oh, guys, and an avalanche, you know, sometimes you're gonna have a good day and it turns south real quick on you, you know. Either you step on the gas real hard or you, know, you turn a bit too hard or something like that and they all come tumbling down and i don't care how say you how good you are you say what that packing or whatever they're like i'm good packing it tight and oh uh, that never happens to me I'm like now nah, okay buddy i packed them pretty tight this morning to the point where i couldn't move them that still happened to me so for you guys to say that uh Oh, packing them tight, that doesn't happen. Yeah, that's the most bullshit I've ever heard, so. And you know, guys, this is just part of working the job, you know, you're gonna have this shit happen all the time, so yeah, you need to be prepared for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we out of here. That is it for today's shift of FedEx. You know, so, unfortunately that one day, y'all, I could not. Oh my God, uh, bro. Oh, oh, hell no, man. I just no. forgot to record the rest of it, but yeah, you know, as you can see, very secure building. You ain't gonna pass those barbed wire fences, all right? <laughs> yeah, here's my whip. We're gonna go back in it and get home. So yeah, I wanna just conclude the video here, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching another day in the life of a FedEx driver. It is currently, what time is it? 8.19 p.m. That's, in right, that's indeed right. I think the last time I recorded was 9 a.m. So yeah, and that was just like my first stop. Like I had to drive an hour and a half over there so you're talking about 7 30 in the morning to 8 at night possibly later uh, you know it could be worse i've had 10 30 p.m nights as you can see not very many cars out here guys remember just remember this morning the lot was full so i'll give you that regard but yeah all these people in here you see maybe one is a driver i'm like the last one back fault yeah partially i mean i'm kind of newer to fedex but uh, it, uh, first of all you got the the longest route and then you know uh, i'm the guy they know can do the lot most packages or at least one of the most packages and yeah i'm a pretty good guy they hear a fedex so okay, keep up the good work everyone hey what's going on everyone Cindris here welcome back to another vlog and in today's vlog as you can see we're going to be doing some more fedex stuff so yeah um, i'm not going to showcase people's houses for the address we in a fairly nice neighborhood here today as you can see but well check this out we are stacked to the brim <laughs> oh boys the countdown to nirvana pretty much as they say not as they say but yeah but yeah you know as we can see here we're packed the brim it's black friday 
Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. By the way, FedEx driver, guys. <laughs> right here. Typical peak season we got here. And, uh, you know, you just got to roll with the good times as they go. And, yeah, and thankfully today it's all condensed. But had a few stops already where I've had to backtrack and because I hadn't had the package or whatever. And it's really cold outside. As you can see, I got gloves on. But it used to this, like, I've cleared a lot of it out. It's a, it was a lot fuller when I started. It was. Uh, and y'all are probably wondering, you know, uh, how much I make doing this. And I'm not going to say the exact amount, obviously, for security reasons now. But it's somewhere, monthly, it's somewhere around 3000 to 4000 a month, which isn't, it's not too bad. Yeah, if we look at the map here, you know, it's really, and it's really covered. You know, that's a really condensed area. So, yeah, there's that. All right, guys. Uh, I just had a customer who I had to backtrack to their place because I could not find where their house was at. Um, I'm not going to say, obviously, but, you know, I was at another end of the town I'm in, and I had to drive all the way back there to deliver some packages to them. There's about six packages in total. So it's pretty important that I need to get those, some of those. And, you know, sometimes you won't even have the amount of, correct amount of packages because the freight gets messed up in the morning. You know, that's on FedEx. That's not even on me at that point because it's not on my truck, not my problem. So, you know, you're going to have moments like that where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, but this happened. Hopefully there should be another FedEx driver come today. If not, sucks to be, sucks to be you, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Alright guys, I just wanted to tell y'all, it's getting real cold outside, so I had to put this little face mask on. It's like, oh it ain't that cold, but it's only 30, 25 outside, but it's going to get a lot colder, so, uh, you know, you're going to have people like this with the 12 packages and shit. It is what it is, guys. Yeah, I've had a stop that's 20 packages before, believe it or not, so, it is the season. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Fenris and back with another part of the episode of FedEx Ground. Got my, my little buddy here. Hey. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey. Hey, hey buddy. Probably the friendliest chihuahua I ever met. But hey, hey man, I gotta get going. You go over there, right? Go. No, I sit over there. <laughs> Some of the dogs are too friendly, you know, like they get actually in the back of your truck and they want you to keep petting them and stuff. And it's like, oh man, I gotta go. I got a job to do, man. Yeah, it's pretty funny, but yeah. Welcome to this winter wonderland, everyone. It uh, started to snow last night and it dumped about one, two inches on the ground. Not too much, you know, just got a dust stain of it. But when it comes to like private roads and stuff, when you're on FedEx, you gotta be really careful. Uh, like this when they're completely snow covered because if you're not uh, you can easily spit out and get stuck and when you get stuck they're not too happy about it they're not too keen on it so yeah just uh, don't get stuck you know <laughs> so yeah Simba the dang god the lion king hey here you go buddy <laughs> when they ask you what are you doing at work hey, what are you doing man nothing just hanging around. And ladies and gentlemen, if y'all just heard that, we are out of here, baby. Hell yeah, my favorite time of the night, getting the fuck out of work. You know, I, I seem to love this job, everyone, but in reality, it's just another, another filler for income. Quite literally, ladies and gentlemen, quite literally. Um, if I could just sit on my ass all day, you know, and make uh, 10 mil a year, then yeah, I would. But unfortunately, there's things and steps we have to take to get to that point, so yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's so funny. Like, I remember back to my old days of working and thinking, oh man, this this is it, man. I'm gonna work like my three, two, three jobs and, and be rich, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> yeah. No plan, no nothing, man. God fucking damn. You know, it's really important to have a plan, right? Because if you don't have a plan, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, you don't know how to make money. My problem is I got a plan, but, you know, uh, the current situation I'm in right now is going to take a while for that plan to execute. It's going to execute, but it's going to take a while. And I've been trying to get a second job because it will help further that plan. I need money to start the business, like add funding and then get an LLC and all that shit. Y'all feel Y'all feel me? But, um, you know, just in order to do that, we need to have that second job happen or you get the first job going, you know. And my boss has to stick up his ass, frankly. Uh, it's the, the crap I put up with there. And then they're like, oh, you're, you're not going fast enough. You know, you got to deliver more packages. And I go faster. And then they give me less packages. I'm like, well, what's up with that? And they're like, oh, we, oh, well, since you're faster, we don't think you can handle this the same way I've been doing it. I'm like... Hey, buddy. hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Fenris, and back with another part of the episode of FedEx Ground. Hey, my, my little buddy here. Hey, hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, hey, hey buddy. Wow, well, your friendly swallow I ever met. But hey, hey, man, I gotta get going. You go over there, right? Go. No, that's it over there. <laughs> Some of the dogs are too friendly, you know, like they get actually in the back of your truck and they want you to keep petting them and stuff. And it's like, oh man, I gotta go. I got a job to do, man. Yeah, it's pretty funny, but yeah, welcome to this winter wonderland, everyone. It uh, started to snow last night and it dumped about one, two inches on the ground. Not too much, you know, just got a dust in of it, but when it comes to like private rows and stuff, when you on FedEx, you gotta be really careful, uh, like this, when they're completely snow covered. Because if you're not, uh, you can easily spit out and get stuck. And when you get stuck, they're not too happy about it. They're not too keen on it. What's going on, guys? Just got out of the gym. And this is just a reminder to y'all, those of y'all make up excuses. You know, I work anywhere from 12 to 17 hours a day and I still got time for the gym. So, you know, for those of you thinking that, oh man, I, I don't want to go to the gym tonight. No, man. I, I want to sleep in. Yeah. No, man. Put, keep putting in the work. Keep grinding. Let this be a reminder to y'all also that, you know, just because it's cold outside doesn't mean you can't go for a run. Doesn't mean you can't push yourself a bit harder, you know? Like, the world is is a wonderful place, right? Whether or not you want to look at that at it that way. And we only get one life, man. You, you might as well push yourself, you know? You might as well challenge yourself because... You're only going to be here one time, you know, and this is it.